The sword? Huh? Ah! Missing? <sighs> Missed again. Can't hit my mark. Won't do anyone any good. Things I didn't expect to see you here. <laughs> but then you always show up in unusual times. Oh, the so Hyrule Castle rose up into the sky. Zelda vanished right in front of you. And now, you've come here looking for clues? Hmm. Link, I understand how you're feeling. Zelda is a dear friend to me as well. I will do everything in my power to help you. But to do that, I need to bring a quick resolution to a problem we Gerudo are facing. I'm sorry. I'm sure you've noticed that the desert is even more difficult to cross than usual. That's thanks to this unusual sand shroud. It appeared around the same time as events in Hyrule, at Hyrule Castle took place. It has blanketed the whole desert, including our town. And not long after that, swarms of monsters we've never seen before began attacking. We're calling them Gibdos. Physical attacks don't work well against them. They are slow. They will make investigating the sand shroud difficult. Were you watching just now? Hmm. I've been practicing striking that dummy over there with lightning. If I can aim the lightning well, I think it may be an effective weapon against the Gibdos. Hmm. But this technique is unrefined. I only recently discovered it and still need more practice. I want to master this power so I can use it to defeat the Gibdos. If I can do that, we can investigate the source of the Sand Shroud and search for Zelda as well. Link, will you help me with my training? I think I can use your arrows to help me aim my lightning strikes. Fire one at that dummy over there. Oh. Ah, there we go. Now let's try something a little trickier. Hmm. Aim for those dummies over there. Maybe we can hit them all with a single lightning strike. Here's an idea. Don't try to hit a specific dummy. Instead, aim for the area in the middle of the three. Like right around where that rock is jutting out. Why wouldn't I just aim for the third one? Oh, but keep in mind that the further away a target is from me, the longer it will take me to build up energy to hit it. I'm getting the hang of it now. The Gibdos don't stand a chance against this power. Oh? I can't thank you enough for your help, Link. Oh, here we go. Oh? Well, what? 
was that? Hmm. It didn't sound like any noise the sand shroud has made. That's for sure. You heard that too, right? It was... <gasps> Thief! We rece received word that a swarm of Gibdos are attacking Karakara Bazaar. Valeria is already on her way there. She's already... Okay, understood. Thank you. Link, we need to head to Karakara Bazaar at once. I must ask you for help once again. My lightning and your guiding arrows make us a formidable pair. Do you remember Karakara Bazaar? It's the oasis northeast of Gerudo Town. Let's show those Gibdos what we're made of. Those are targets. Um, wait. Am I supposed to meet you there, or are we traveling there together? Night's coming. I'm going to try fast travel. Hopefully that gets us there and she's there. Give us get close. Oh, if help doesn't. Sorry to keep everyone waiting, but I'm here now, and they're going to wipe all the Gibdos out at once. Follow me! Link, don't let me down. These monsters stand no chance. Well, there they are. The swarm of Gibdos seem to be coming from there. Oh. I didn't put that together. We need to destroy that somehow. Otherwise, they'll overwhelm us. Well, let's try this. was a bad one. Hmm. 
Uliara, well done holding the line until we were able to get here. Now that we know the Gibdos are susceptible to lightning, this gives us a major advantage. Huh. I should have figured. We could have used the lightning fruit instead of our bombs. Is that Zelda? <laughs> <laughs> I'd say so. Zelda, wait! She was heading directly toward those tornadoes. And if more Gibdos are hiding in the storm... Uliara, we need to get back now. <laughs> Link, we're going on ahead. I'll meet you in town. Well, thank you for actually saying it this time. That's a wind current. Um. Why bother trying to crop through this round? Their bodies turn white when they're in vulnerable state. That's good to know. I'm glad I actually read that. Look, Link. There's a Gibdos hive, just like the one we appeared that appeared near Karakara Bazaar. Mm. Both the hive and those tornadoes were reported to have shown up at the same time too. But it's not only the one hive; there are three to deal with, each one outside the town gates. I don't need a clairvoyant sand seal to know a massive Gib. Gibdo attack is coming. Oh. Right now, those hives are durable and nearly impervious to attack. But when they open and begin releasing Gibdos, they're vulnerable. The Gibdos won't wait outside our walls forever. So when they launch their attack, that's our chance to strike. Oh? Uh. Uh -huh. Come. Come to where I am. Uh. Again, you heard it, didn't you? Come. Is it calling us, us mm -hmm. out to us? Lady Riju? Link? Is something the matter? I thought it's nothing. Hmm. Link. For now, we should focus on the protecting Gerudo Town from the enemies at our gates. We must prepare for battle. A battle. The sand shroud that suddenly appeared 
the sand shroud, the sudden appearance of Giddos and the, their hives. Strange events keep happening, one after another. And we saw Zelda near Karakara Bazaar, but she hasn't been seen anywhere around Gerudo Town. There's something bigger going on, but for now, we need to focus on the problem at hand and prepare to fight. Link, I need your help again. Speak with Bolinera Bol and the soldiers and help us organize our defenses. Oh. Do you have questions about preparing for battle? What's the plan? Oh. Dr. Captain Tika in the yard. Work with her to decide how best to deploy our forces. Oh. Pada in the courtyard. Pada is in the courtyard. She's in charge of materials we have on hand. We could reinforce our defenses with them. If you need anything, you should talk to her. Oh. Do you have questions about preparing for battle? Oh. Very well. In that case, please report to Lady Riju. When the battle begins, I will be focused on protecting her. For the sake of the Gerudo, nothing can happen to her. Thanks. Ooh, mirror. Stay. Don't I device that can be fixed in place in the ground or on a wall. They've been used as footholds or building foundations because of their immovability when planted. Ooh. Mighty bananas. Oh no, our rock hammer is almost broken. A topaz? Electric Lizalfo horn? Silver rubies. Gerudo Scimitar. Gerudo Claymore. I've been gathering materials that I think might be useful in battle. Feel free to take anything you need from here. Also, I'm com com confident that I can build a barricade at any of the gates. Would that help you? Ooh. There are three gates from the palace. 
the north gate is ahead, the west gate is left, and the east gate is right. I've got an idea for a barricade. I'll use iron barrels and wood to block the path. Which gate should I set it up at? Front gate seems the smartest, uh. right? Okay, the barrier gate has been set up at the north gate. That should slow down any enemies that attack from that position. Okay. Just decorations, not actually pots. I have a cannon? Okay, you give those jerks. Do your worst. I, the Incredible Barta, am going to reduce each and every one of you to dust. I've been training my body and mind while we were underground, and I am ready to wipe you out. She might be a little too popular. Hives of monsters have appeared outside the town wall. It won't be long before... We'll need to deal with this threat. How should we deploy our forces? Who should we send and where? We could sp spread them out to lightly cover all the gates. Or maybe a concentrated force to protect a weakened position. Oh. We need to decide who to send where. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Oh, God. Where shall we deploy them? North gate. Ah. Understood. They will defend the north gate. Ah. We need to decide. Okay, the spear troop. Oh. I'll send east. And the cannoneer will go west. Ah. I don't know if it was a good idea for us to split ah. everybody up, but we have three gates. I'm gonna leave it. Oh. See what happens. Hmm. They are. Wait. 
I'm curious about that voice we heard earlier, but... <clears throat> hmm? Now it's not the time. Situation report. Large number of uh, Gibdos are moving to attack the town. Before anything else, we'll need to deal with this. Alright, so they're on all sides. Alright. Valeria! They have the town surrounded. Stay strong. This threat is also an opportunity. Fight well, and we can wipe them out in one battle. Hives and all. Prepare yourselves for battle. Let's show them the true power of the Gerudo. Everyone, protect our chief. Protect our town. from the hive at the east gate. Stop them. We're going west, aren't we? Huh? 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 Oh, could have just... Enemies are pouring out of... Yes! That hive is out of action. They break through the gates? Or are they the ones that were already in town? Flying enemies from the hive at the north gate, too. Don't let them overrun us. <sighs> enemies are nearing the center of town. Prepare to attack. <laughs> Good charge. The enemies won't stop coming until we wipe out all the hides. Eliminate every enemy you see. We're the last line of defense. Just the wind would have been nice right there. Did that one not work? Okay. Whoa! Ah, 
Oh, those swords didn't do nothing. <laughs> Link, I am incredibly grateful for your help in the battle. On behalf of all Gerudo, thank you. I suspect, suspect the Gibdos threat will calm down a bit now that we've wiped out the hives that were surrounding the town. Hmm. I noticed that the hives crumbled into sand when we destroyed them. I wonder if the Gibdos have some kind of connection to the sand. Or maybe... Maybe they're connected to the sand shroud. Did they make it? Did it summon them? Hmm. And then there's the voice that you and I both heard. A voice and lightning? This reminds me of something. Link, there's something you should see. You should see. Come down to the mural in the underground shelter. Never did finish exploring in here, did we? What's with Baruto and not having rocks I can fuse with? Oh, wait, you can't. Look at the mural on this wall. Hmm. It is thought to have been painted by ancestors of the Gerudo. It appears that when they created it, they were also using the shelter to hide. Perhaps the Gerudo of the distant past were also beset by some great disaster. Anyway, the writing on the mural says, hmm. Stand, standing back to back, with the throne, witness red pillars across the vast sea. Unite the pillars and light to reveal the lightning stone and open the way. You who can hear my voice, come to me. I await you. That mysterious voice that spoke to us? Its words remind me of this mural. This image must represent a location of some kind, and the engraved words are a riddle to discover its location. It's the only explanation that makes sense. Mm. The writing on it says, yeah, 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 I get it. So we have to light some red pillars. That sounds easy enough, except for we have to find them. And with the shroud, we don't have a map. Okay, everyone, pay attention. Today, we're going to have a very special lesson. We have a bow here with us. <laughs> Just try to relax and be your regular, normal selves when you're talking to him. All right? Oh. Nat Natalie, I know you can do this. Mm. Teacher, I... I I can't I can't look directly in his fa at his face. Oh. That's okay. We can stop here for now. Mm. 
you will have to do something about your fear eventually. But I think once you muster the courage to face a foe, even just one time, your fear will your fear will wash away forever. <sighs> I'm sorry. I imagine that was a bit unexpected, wasn't it? You see, she's never seen a foe in person. She's only seen them in drawings and in recreations like the bow dummies. Mm. I suspect that if you hide your face, it would be easier. It's probably just too early to make eye contact while chatting. I hope you aren't feeling discouraged, though. It would be wonderful if you visit class again. <laughs> so come for taking the time today. Okay. Oh, you must be that bow everyone's talking about. Yes, yes. Say, are Highland and Vo interested in archaeology? Would it surprise you to learn that I'm an archaeologist myself? After much work, I have finally deciphered these stella. Do you want to hear what's written on them? Do you? Don't you? You do, don't you? Hey. If you insist. <laughs> First up, the Stella over the here on the left says the seven heroines who protect the Gerudo. Their secret will be expressed on six Stella. Okay, this is one. That's two. As for the Stella over there on the right, it says the seven heroines who protect the Gerudo. An eighth and eighth channels and guides the power of these seven. Hmm. I doubt you know this, being a Hylian bow, but we grew to have believed in the heroines for a long, long time. Ah. They are said to have protected and guided our people <laughs> in times past. Unfortunately, I have found little in the way of documentation about the heroines themselves. Mm. There are many debates and disagreements surrounding these enigmatic figures. Some argue for re revering all seven as a collective and others for worshiping each one as an individual. Certain rabble rousing, rabble rousing contarians even claim there were not seven, but one or eight. If there is one thing scholars love, it is arguing with each other. Ah. But these Stella definitely support the theory of eight. Eh? An, incredibly dis an incredible discovery, isn't it? I could stop here and rightly say I changed the face of archaeology. But if I found the other four Stella, <laughs> who knows what else I might learn about the heroines. I wonder, too. About this orb that I found while searching for the cellae. Is it connected somehow? <laughs> if I gave a presentation on all this, I'd be the star of archaeology society. Uh... But I have not been able to find any stellae besides these two. Since there's nothing like them on the surface, the others must be underground somewhere. How I wish I could see the text inscribed on those stele. Even just a picture would serve my purposes. Aww. She's still following us? Aww. You, you're a bull, bull aren't you? Re really? Are you telling the truth? I learned in class that all bow like the lie though. Ah, Ali, you better not be talking to that bow. Why don't you follow Makira's example? Be more like your sister. <laughs> it's fine. I haven't made eye contact, so it's all fine. <laughs> yeah, of all things you could have learned to do at your age. Why is arguing the one you're taking such a liking to? <laughs> you said four red pillars, right? 
four stele, four red pillars. I wonder if they're together. Do I have to do that in my head? Oh, the writing on it says, standing back to back with the throne, witness red pillars across the vast sea. Unite the pillars and light to reveal the light lightning stone and open the way. You who hear my voice come to me, I await you. The sand shroud makes it impossible to explore the Gerudo Desert, except maybe if you could soar in the sky like a Rito. Well, I can kind of do that. We ended up up on down. Did we? Oh, we're just behind the throne. Okay. Um. Uh. Back to back with the throne. Four red pillars. Well, I see nothing. I mean, I see that. That be what we're looking for. Um, this might be what we're looking for. 